Brainstorming is hard enough, but what happens when you're forced to brainstorm in a different country? What's up mga makasalanan Tagalupa? Ako po si Paolo Ferrer, isang advertising creative born and raised dito sa Metro Manila, Philippines. A few years ago, merong phase in my career na kami nung former teammates ko, we were uh, bouncing around the Southeast Asian region, working on different projects for different brands. Nung time na yon, kapag ang kliyente mo hindi based sa Pilipinas at kailangan nila ng ideas, ikaw ang pupunta sa kanila. In less than a day's notice, nasa Singapore na kami ni Kat. She's an art director. At si Edge, isa sa mga bossing ng accounts. Pagkatapos mag-discuss ng game plan, sabak na kami agad sa briefing with clients. At isipan ng ideas. Intense ang isipan buong araw. Nakakagutom yun. Kaya sa gabi, intense din ang kainan. I'll take your lead. Okay, game, sige. Buti na lang ang sarap ng Singaporean food. I don't know what this is. It's got a century egg. It's got some kind of... I don't know what that is. Kikiam. Two twin beds. A small work desk. That's the rest of the room. Over the next few days, ang malilinis na kalsada, ang magagandang tanawin, at ang kultura ng Singapore ay hindi namin na experience. Blurred. Hindi siya blurred, parang basag yung text. Hindi, zoom in, zoom out. Wala akong makuhang zoom na matino siya. Tinan mo. Kasi, nakakulong kami sa hotel, nag-iisip at nag execute ng ideas para sa mga kliyente namin. Maraming timelapse sa iba-ibang sections ng school Tapos habang piniplay natin yung video na Mabilis na tumadaan yung mga bata rin Sinastop mo sa mga point ng mga bata Ano? Wala kang gana <laughs> Okay lang yan Kat, kaya natin yan days of working, we have nothing. Monday, apat na araw na. Matapos ang apat na araw ng pagdurugo. Akala mo, akala mo okay na. Pero hindi. Hindi, hindi. It is now day 7 here in Singapore and the entire team is complete. Mark just arrived today. He's gonna be my roommate later on. If clients like that storyboard that we have been working on for a week, then we can move forward to producing it. If clients do not think that um, it meets the requirements that they need, then we're basically fucked and we're back to square one. Welcome to day 8 of our Singapore Sling. Full force na ang buong team para sa big presentation with clients. 
Pero may revisions pa din. Kaya inabot na kami ng gabi sa opisina nila. Nalak na nga kami sa loob eh. <laughs> It's um, 8.30 p.m. and we're still trapped in the office. We can't get out. We are not visitors anymore. We are prisoners. <laughs> Day 8, wala na kami pera. Papapalit kami ng pera sa Chinatown. Actually, 9. Day 9 na ba? Kasi ako kayo Saturday 8. Hindi, pero day 8 tayo ngayon. Tama? First day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday. Day 9. Shit, day 9 na. Okay, day 9. Wala na kami pera. Kailangan namin magpapalit sa Chinatown. Even after 9 days of brainstorming and presentations, wala pa din kaming complete approval from clients. Ang dami pa ding pahabol na kailangan gawin. Pag ganong katagal mo nang iniisip ang isang project, minsan ang pinaka-effective na solution ay huwag mo na muna siyang isipin. Give your mind time to defocus from the project. Do something else. Relax. Kadalasan, coming up with a creative solution depends on different phases of the creative process. You start out with deep focus. So pag-iisipan mo lang ng mataimtim ang isang problem. Pero yung susunod na phase, kailangan matuto kang mag-let go. Kasi pag binitawan mo na yung problema, pwede ka na ngayon bumalik sa kanya, pero pagbalik mo, refreshed na ang perspective mo. Day 10 and we're finally going the fuck home. Yeah. <laughs> Umuwi muna kami ng Manila to regroup and report to the big boss. Pero ilang araw lang at balik na naman kami sa Singapore. Ito na naman tayo. To tackle the project. So work muna tayo, kaya tayo ulit namin ang dinner. Oh, Pero yes. this time, refreshed na ang isip namin. A view of Little India. All right, I think I'm ready to get to work. Nasubukan ang disiplina. Coordination at stamina ng team namin. At kahit na stress at napagod kami ng gusto, ang project ay na-approve at eventually na-produce din. And that is the end of another Singapore trip. The courageous men and women of Sachi now go home again <laughs> with a victory, a small one. Dahil sa determination, deep focus at teamwork ay nakrack namin ang complicated project na ito. Kahit na mahirap, I'm glad I experienced that stressful, challenging phase in my career. Ikaw, sa tingin mo mag enjoy ka ba kung para kang ping-pong ball na patalbog-talbog sa iba-ibang bansa para mag-brainstorming? Let me know in the comments. Ngayong panahon ng pandemic, wala mo nang palipad-lipad sa ibang bansa. Yun yung pagpunta sa office, hindi namin magawa kahit nandyan lang eh. So everything is now done remotely. The question is, after the pandemic, babalik ko ba tayo sa dati? Nobody knows. Kung umabot kayo sa ending ng video na to, maraming maraming salamat. If you like this video, pahit naman din yung like button. At kung gusto nyo pang mapanood yung mga videos ko in the future tungkol sa buhay advertising creative dito sa Pilipinas, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Peace.